Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. Today we just got a grocery delivery from Whole Foods using Amazon Prime, and we're gonna show you what we got for this week. So we got six bags of groceries total. Let's open the first one. Ooh, I didn't think they were gonna have these in stock. That's nice. Um, it's a, I think it's a three pound bag of organic yellow onions. All right. And these onions. We got two Jewel sweet potatoes. Come on, man, sweet potatoes. <laughs> I mean, at least I got some bigger ones this time. The last time they that's were like true. half this size, so that's nice. Let's see what it is. All right. Ooh, we got a watermelon. What is this little baby watermelon? A mini watermelon. I, I was hoping it'd be a little bigger than this, but <laughs> it's <was> really cute. <laughs> <laughs> um, these were on sale this week at Whole Foods. I think it was like three fifty nine for an organic watermelon. All right. Hope it's good. It's cute, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. Feel like this. I got a bag of All right. russet potatoes. This is such a good deal. I think it's uh, five pounds for $3.99. That's a great deal. That's a great deal. Usually a good price for one pound of potatoes, if you buy them individually, is 99 cents a pound. So you're saving like a dollar by buying it this way. So good gotcha. deal. Yeah. You never have too many potatoes. No, regular potatoes, and not sweet potatoes. Let's open the second bag. In here we have a carton of Pacific Foods, my, my favorite Pacific Foods organic vegetable broth. They didn't have the low sodium variety available this time, but that's okay. It's better than nothing. It's better than so nothing. Yeah. We go through the vegetable broth so fast. We just used this vegetable broth last night for dinner. We made a chickpea lentil soup. So we're going to leave a link to that video down below. So make sure you check that out. It was delicious. I like how you're like chickpea lentil soup. That's what it was. Chickpea lentil soup. Next we got a bag of halves and pieces organic walnuts. This is a good price. It's $7.99 and you get 10 ounces. Okay. That's pretty fair yeah. compared to what I've seen at other stores. So awesome. get that. Oh yeah. Uh -oh. yeah. Enjoy like mega chips <laughs> or are, mega chunks. Are we gonna try to make some kind of desserts or something with that? Well, I, last week we made these really good like um, oat brownie bars. Remember yeah. those? Uh -huh. um, so I want to make them again. Okay. <laughs> I'm into it. Yeah. So I had to get some more chocolate chips. Awesome. Yeah. If you want to try that recipe, I'll link it down below. It's really good. And then I also got two packages of the Mike's Curry Love. Uh, red Thai curry paste. This is like your secret ingredient. It is. This is what I use for a lot of the curries that I make just because it's so convenient and it has ingredients that I don't always have in my pantry like lemongrass. Um, I did ask for a, it was either the green or the yellow, but they didn't have it in stock so they substituted a second red, which is fine. That's good. We'll, we'll take two reds. We'll use both of these. Is it yeah. spicy? I think the red is spicy, yes. Okay. On the front it says medium spicy. Oh, medium spicy. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens. <laughs> uh, I got a 28 ounce can of organic diced tomatoes. This is the best price that I found on canned tomatoes anywhere for the big for the big container of 28 ounces. It's only a dollar seventy nine. That's a really good price. It's pretty great. Um, at other stores, it's usually like two ninety nine to three fifty for organic, and the can is uh, it's a non BPA lining and it's organic, so good deal. S sounds great. Yep. Next, we got a can of organic coconut milk. I really like this coconut milk from Whole Foods. It's really rich and creamy. Also, a non BPA lined can, organic. And it's just, it's just really good. What are, we, like are we using this for something this week or? Yeah, I'm making a jackfruit curry this week. So that's, okay. that's what this is for. Awesome. Um, that's a good I love price. Jackfruit. I think that was 2 dollars And <laughs> You just like everything, I except do. for sweet potatoes. I don't like sweet potatoes <laughs> at all. We also got a little jar of tomato paste. This is my favorite tomato paste. This brand is called Bio Nature. Um, I like this one because it's the tomato paste is in a glass jar. I know I just bought tomatoes in a can, but um, it's better to buy tomatoes in a glass jar if you can, because then the tomatoes won't leach anything from the can. Right, because so, they're acidic. To, right, yeah. right. So try to buy glass if possible, but if you can't, it's okay. We're gonna go ahead and open up the third bag. What we got in there? Looks like produce. I feel like it's Christmas morning, like I'm opening presents. Right. <laughs> <laughs> we got bananas. I ordered 10 bananas, 10 organic bananas. It looks like 10 in there. I yeah, it should be. Two bunches, so that's Two good. bunches, five yeah. each, yep. Uh -huh. We go through bananas really quickly because we sometimes we'll just eat one in the morning right when we get up for a snack. Um, or we'll do an ice cream or smoothies or what else we make with bananas? Banana. We put in oatmeal. Oh, you're right. Yeah, yeah. I just said that this morning. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I really like bananas and oatmeal. Um, I got some navel oranges. I think we got two bags in here. These were $1.99 a pound, so that's a pretty good price for navel oranges. Yeah. And you gotta have your um, vitamin, vitamin C, C yeah. right now. So we got 10 of those. And then we got three organic avocados. How's the size? Pretty good. Pretty they good. they call their avocados jumbo. I don't know if these are jumbo, but they're pretty good. I like when they fill up my hand. <laughs> good size, I think. And these were $1.99. No, the conventional are $1.99, the organic are $2.49. So. A pound? No, each. Oh, $2.49 a piece. Okay, yeah, gotcha. Yeah. 
Um, one time, <laughs> Travis went to the grocery store to get us water a few weeks ago. Do you want to tell him about your avocado story? They were like this big. I asked him to get like four avocados. Like the miniest avocados. avocados ever. If they were a good price. And he's like, oh, they're $2. I'm like, oh, that's great. Get them. And then he came home and they were like this big. <laughs> they were so tiny. <laughs> That's funny. This is all they put in the one bag. All right. Well, it's like a soap, right? Yeah. This okay. is my favorite hand soap. Um, I've been buying this for a couple years now. It's Dr. Bronner's Castile Soap. Uh, this flavor or scent is the hemp citrus. I hope it's not a flavor. I hope you're not drinking it. <laughs> <laughs> but it, it hurts now spending because this was, I think, $15.99 at Whole Foods. Right. And I used to buy this at, you can find it at TJ Maxx or Marshall's for $9.99. And mm -hmm. I always used to buy them there. I'd grab, I got a couple. Yeah. I think I had three in our pantry before all this started, but we we're getting right. low, so I had to get another one. <laughs> it no, hurts, but it kills you. Extra $16. five bucks, yeah, yeah, right. But it's really good soap, and it lasts a really long time. Um, as I use it, I just keep adding water to fill up the the container, which yeah. I know you don't like. But it's very concentrated. It is very concentrated, yeah. so it lasts a really long time. So I think it's worth it. Still, awesome. Still, still worth it. So next we're gonna do our two cold bags. I really like how Whole Foods delivers these because these cooler bags really do keep everything inside chilled. Yeah. It's nice. Um, and you can reuse these or you can uh, recycle them. I haven't recycled them yet because I'm just holding on to them to reuse them in the future. Yeah. But they do have that option online where you could ask them to recycle them for you. So that's nice. Awesome. So let's open this up. What do we got in here? We have celery. All right. <laughs> uh, are we going to try to... Yes, I was just going to say that. <laughs> you saw our What We Eat in a Day video that we posted a week or two ago. We talked about our greenhouse and we actually showed you inside of it. Um, but we were testing regrowing the base of um, some celery that I had. Yeah. And it was doing really well. It was doing great. And that then the great. next day. It just died. It just like. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. So I don't know what happened, but we're gonna try again. So I'm gonna cut this up <laughs> and slice off the bottom, put in some water until it starts growing some roots and then we're gonna try again. So. Sounds good. And I'm gonna show you a quick update of the greenhouse. Let's go check it out. Quick garden update. So this is our spinach. We planted a couple more seeds. So we got some growing, looking pretty good our cucumbers over here I guess they're growing they're getting bigger some kale over here looking pretty good this one right here looks like it's getting eaten up a little bit I don't know what's going on I don't like that then over here we have some Swiss chard got some chives here this is some basil here it's looking pretty good it's getting a little bit bigger we have chives, which we got two little ones growing, but they're trying. They're getting big. And then this is where we had our celery stock, but it died. We also have some cilantro. I wish they would grow a little bit faster, but you know, I got patience. Everything's doing pretty good, moving along nicely. Just waiting for them to get a little bit bigger. What are you doing in here? You guarding these plants, or are you eating them? I ordered a head of kale, but this is the saddest looking little head of kale I've ever God, seen. God, that's the saddest little baby dinosaur kale I've ever seen. Not compared to last time we got no, it. It was like big it was like and three flourishing. Times this size. I know. All right, oh. well, we'll take it. All right. That's okay. good for like one meal, I think. Next, we got four zucchini. All right. I'm working on a zucchini soup recipe. Okay. That's also why I got some potatoes, extra potatoes. All right. It's going to be a zucchini potato soup. Zucchini potato soup. Yeah. Sounds good. <laughs> I like it. Stacy is like the master of soups. She makes phenomenal soup. Whoa! Look at these cucumbers. Whoa! They're organic. Yep. Yeah. Oh wow. Those are big. Those look great. Oh my gosh. Do you think our cucumbers are going to grow this big? I don't know. I hope so. They're just those little seeds right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. All right. Well, that makes up for the tiny kale that we got. Yeah. I'll take that. And then we got two containers of organic unsweetened almond milk. And these are $2.99, so that's like a pretty good price. Yeah. And I like this. Um, and I always get the unsweetened. If even No matter what it is, if it's coconut milk, almond milk, soy milk, I always get unsweetened because it just doesn't need the added sugar. Gotcha. And I okay. also don't like the vanilla flavored. It's just... Just like regular, no flavor. Off to me. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're down to our last bag. All right, what do we got in here? Hopefully some delicious ice cream treats for me, maybe. Maybe some popsicles. Maybe some... I don't know. Anything Sorry. special for me? <laughs> no. All right. You got your special treat with our last Costco I thought, I thought order. you were gonna like be saving the best for last for me. No. Like, I'm not gonna tell Travis I snuck in some ice cream for him so he doesn't know. Guess not. Stacy did sneak me a special treat last week when she ordered from Costco and we got those acai little mini yeah, bite bars. Yeah, the Sambazon. Yeah. Those are so those good. Are so They're good. dipped in chocolate. Yeah. 
I can eat the whole box in one sitting, but Stacey won't let me. No, nope. <laughs> they're delicious. All right, and here we have a bag of organic frozen chopped kale. Chopped kale. And this is a really good price. I loved buying. I love buying frozen fruits and vegetables and greens because this was two. I think it's two twenty nine. Could be two ninety nine, but somewhere around that. But if I cooked on this kale by myself, yeah. it would be a lot less than this. Gotcha. The amount of kale. So yeah. this is just a better deal, and it's easier. It's already done for you. So right, it's already this is really up. great to add to soups. Um, sometimes I'll just saute it and mix it into whatever we're eating. Like what did I mix it in the other day? The black beans and rice, I think. Yeah, black beans and rice. I just yeah. Cooked down a bag of it wasn't the kale, it was spinach, frozen spinach, and added it to the black beans and rice. Yeah. Just an easy way to get more greens in. Yep. And I got a bag of organic sweet yellow corn. Sweet corn. I think that was a dollar ninety nine. And the same with these green peas. Organic frozen peas. You don't like peas very much, do you? Mm, they're okay. They're not my favorite. I mean, I like I, I like eat them with stuff, like in a soup or yeah. in like a salad. But mm -hmm. I don't really like peas just like by themselves as a side. Yeah, yeah. gotcha. And then we got some frozen whole leaf spinach. That's yeah. organic. And that's the same thing as the kale. Same yeah, concept. cook it down, put it with different things. Oh, we got two of those actually. Okay. Yep. Awesome. Yep. And then my favorite frozen item that we got. This is the best deal. Is organic bell peppers. Frozen okay. bell peppers. I'm sure you guys know that organic bell peppers are pretty expensive. They're about five ninety nine a pound, which for yeah. one like decent sized bell pepper, that's like three dollars ish, maybe a little bit more. It's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. So this whole bag of sixteen ounces, you get a pound of frozen and it's mixed, so you get red, yellow, and green okay. bell peppers is only two ninety nine. That's great. Yeah, and it's already cut and frozen for you. Easily two big peppers. Yeah. I would say chopped up. Awesome. Maybe a little more. So that is a great deal. Absolutely. So, Guess how many I got? I don't know. Three? How'd you guess? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I got three. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and the same thing with these. I like to have these in the freezer to add to soups, to use for tacos, fajitas, um, burritos. Burritos. Yeah. yeah. It's really quick and easy to just cook real quick and add to whatever your, your dinner is. So awesome. It's very convenient. And that's it. That's it. <laughs> what did you think of our haul, babe? I mean, I think it looks pretty great. I'm surprised. I mean, $130. I mean, if I was to look at this, what I guess was one hundred thirty dollars. It doesn't look like doesn't look like one hundred thirty dollars, <laughs> but you know. I think we have a pretty good array of pantry items, yeah, fresh produce and yeah. frozen staples. That's gonna last us a while. So well, hopefully, it lasts and, us a week and a half, two weeks. And this soap bump us up a little bit, but that'll last us at least a month or two. Yeah, so awesome. So we've shared a couple of grocery hauls on our channel um, in the last couple of weeks, but please let us know in a comment below. Do you guys like seeing these grocery hauls? Do you want us to post more? Do you want to see a haul from a specific store? We usually shop at. at we usually shop at Costco and Whole Foods. Right, so yeah. that's where we've been going but I mean we could branch out and try another store yeah absolutely if there was somewhere specific you guys wanted to see you know what was available yeah but yeah just let us know what you think and I think that's it that's it yeah. so that's going to end the video for us today thank you guys so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe to our channel and we will see you next time bye, bye guys, bye guys.